Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some paints, grab some models, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models, shall we? It's gonna be a lot of fun. This week I am finishing up my Shadow Spear box set. So I've done all the other models, now I'm working on the suppressors. I'll talk about my week and my upcoming week. Um, yeah, and it's gonna be good. You know, as I said, I'm working on them. They're probably my least favorite model just because they're really hard to hold and paint. Um, I don't like the way, that, I don't like the new, obviously the new flying bases like most people, but it's okay, we'll discuss that in this week's video as well. But as always, huge shout out to Cody Rue and uh, Adam, you missed a spot. Mm -hmm. So let's get started now. All right, so hey everyone, welcome back. Here are, is my suppressor that I'm currently working on, all three of them right now. Besides that, I'm pretty much done my guys uh, from the Shadow Sphere box set. Here's my librarian. Looks good. Yellow. Here's one of my... Don't even know what they're named. Progressors. No. My lieutenant. My infiltrators. My captain. As you see, they're coming along. Um, so, right now, I'm just going to take some of Shab Bone and paint the shield part of their guns. Like Adam, I missed a spot. So, I better tidy it up. I'll put the Shab Bone and some Lamia Medium in my palette. It's been fun. I've been really enjoying painting some Space Marines. I spent, you know, six months painting orcs. So, it's been a, a decent uh, break painting my Space Marines and getting them all done. Um, after the Shadow Spear box set, I still have one of the other starter box sets. So there's another like 20 or 20 something Marines as well. And uh, I get them done. I have one more model. It was a limited edition model from Adepticon. And then I'll paint some vehicles. So it's going to take me a little while. I have a few months of probably two months more months. I think I'll be probably done late June, early July for the Space Marines. Depending on what vehicles I want to paint vanilla, what vehicles I want to paint uh, Dark Angels, and what vehicles I want to paint um, Granites. Because the thing is with these Primaris Marines is that they kind of make many, uh, as you got, as you know, the tone's been aware, um, or the, you know, the tone's been open for a while, um, they make normal Space Marines obsolete. And so, like, Rhinos and Razorbacks, which is what I have to paint, i got to figure out what army I want to paint them for. I'm thinking Grey Knights because they don't have access to Primary Marines. So they're still, you know, good right now for using them. I'm going to hold them. I don't usually hold the model like this, which you know. But the problem is with these guys is they fit on their base, like a tiny connector piece right there, and uh, I don't want to pin them because, like I've been doing with all my other models, because then it'll show, right? These guys connect directly to the, the stand. So, I'm just going to hold them. As I said, at least, I, as you can see where I've been holding them, I've been holding them at the gun, typically. So I will reprime that at the end. Uh, probably not at this episode, just when I'm done painting them. And blend the metallics together on the gun, you know? Cool. Look at that. So I'll paint for the next hour or so. Talk about life, as always. And, uh, yeah, keep going. You know, as I said, this I am slowly ridding my world of unpainted models. This year I've definitely painted more models than I've purchased, which is nice. And I am, as I said, I'm, I'm starting to just see empty shelf space, which is kind of my goal. Empty shelf space represents models that have been painted in my workshop, right? I haven't put a lot of videos lately. Uh, for that, I'm sorry. i got to get back into making some videos. I have a couple of cool ideas of, of things I'm starting. I I'm going to re-edit my first video. Um, GW kind of threw a kink in it. I mentioned in my first video. For my, I'm making an Orc Tactica series starting soon. And in my first video, I mentioned Mob Up with Luda's and now it's gone, which I thought it might be. So I'm glad I didn't publish the video and I will uh, re I will you know, fix that part, put it back out. 
That's all good. Okay, let that dry. What now? I've done red browns. So time to take some Mornfang Brown. What I love about painting Space Marines, honestly, is it really is not the rocket science of painting. I do try to paint to, to a decent, you know, a, a decent tabletop standard, I think. But um, it is kind of refreshing that I can, you know, paint a model with six colors, essentially, five colors, get it done. You know, it, it's it's nice. Like after the, the sorry, the leathers, I'll do the uh, metallics. That'll probably take up the rest of the video because there's always a lot of silver to paint on these guys. Just putting some, once again, some thin down. Sure. So I'm going to paint the leather pouches and holsters on these guys. It is nice and thin, as you can see. So I do put two thin coats. I'm totally dunking it. Two thin coats. Um, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I gotta catch up on my video making. It's been a busy last couple weeks. Life has been busy. I did write my, as I wrote, said last week, la uh, I wrote a um, certification last week for my job, and I passed, which is good. I wasn't extremely concerned, to be honest. I think I, it felt good. It felt good. I did study a good amount. I do respect these tests, because frankly, I just don't want to write them twice. You know, I've never been a good test writer, especially with my bane of multiple choice. I hate multiple choice. Back in university, I used to have this one teacher, professor, who loved multiple choice, right? And every question was A, B, C, two of the above, all of the above, none of the above. So you're literally just playing mind games with yourself the entire time. Well, A looks good. So it's definitely either A. Well, oh, B looks good. But is C, wait, is C good? What? Is, is, is C? Oh, man. Oh, look at the wording. Double negatives. Oh. I think C's good. I'll say all the above. The answer was none. <laughs> like, uh, so that was my relationship with multiple choice. I'm just never a nice, I didn't like writing multiple choice tests. So, that's okay. I'm glad I passed. And so, I have the option now of taking more, which I probably will if, I, if, they'll, if my company will pay for it. I'll take more certification because it can potentially lead to a better job. Right? It leads to a potential better job. Life is good. Um... So I was busy with that until last week, and then I spent the weekend um, I spent Saturday mostly at my girlfriend's parents' house, helping them get ready for the spring, put away all the winter stuff. Uh, neither one of them can lift a whole lot, so I'll help you. I was good and then Sunday I was just busy as well so it's been a, and then this week I've pretty much worked you know the whole week so busy week as I said I gotta set more time aside for video making and editing I've been painting and that's it too I'm really just wanting to paint and I know I've been painting at the cost of my videos but I've been enjoying painting and obviously sometimes I, I can paint while filming like a painting with Jay so that's okay. Put that leather, first coat of the leather down on that one. And now this one. Um, yeah. As I said, it's all good. I'm, uh, I need to dedicate a little more time. Once I start putting on my orc videos, more tactic videos, that'll be a video a week. Indefinitely.
And then what I want to do is go through model by model. with what combinations really work. But um, yeah, this is the Orc Tactica series will be good. I have a couple painting tutorials I still have to edit. Some old painting tutorials I filmed a while ago that I still have to put up, which is nice. I have some videos. I really do. I just have to take some time and sit down. And a couple battle reports as well. I filmed a couple Orc versus Army, other Army battle reports with Dave a while ago. That'll be up soon. Um, I really do want to get back into miniature painting 101. I think my first video will just be painting yellow armor with glazes. Uh, it is based on a tutorial, you know, I'm sorry, I, 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 I've seen the idea several times. I did see a cool tutorial on Instagram, but I've modified it to my own, as I always do with my painting. I, I see what I like, what I don't like, and, you know, like, for example, I like the black in the recesses, so I use black, and I use um, Screaming Skull as well, so I use a couple more colors than the, the tutorial, but that's okay. But look at that, so he's looking good. I... Uh, it's all the leather, leather for now, and we'll put that away. Um, I'm just going to get some Screaming Skull in the meantime. And as I mentioned, because I painted those shields, I really want to just paint the top parts with Screaming Skull, create a little bit of a, you know, a variance in color, because, yeah, to have highlights, you know. I will definitely be done these guys before next week's painting with Jay. And so next week's painting with Jay, I'll be starting on more Primaris Marines. You know, and as I said, it'll be good. My goal is to have all my Space Marines painted by, as I said, the, uh, around the beginning of summer. That way I can have um, another army to start up in the summer. I haven't decided what's after Space Marines, to be honest. I, I didn't decide on Space Marines until I was pretty much done at Orcs. So, we'll see. If I paint Grey Knights, Grey Knights will only take me about a month, maybe two at most. And I'll be done with them. Um, I do have some Imperial Knights to paint. I could do Imperial Knights, that'll take me out in a couple months as well. So depending on what I want to do, I could actually probably do two more armies before the end of the summer. Or probably by the, by the end of summer. Which would be really cool. Alright, I don't set up for another test. We'll see. Alright, so that's drying the... I'll let the... Um, leather dry for a second. So let's get started on... The metallics. This is where the majority of the painting will be today because there's a lot of metallics in these guys. Yeah. A lot of metallics. And that's okay. They're a cool model and there's a lot of silvers on them. So I'm just going to I'm just going to put some silver into my palette. 
I don't usually thin down my metallics because it gets weird with the pigments sometimes. There we go. Look at that. So let's get started on the silvers. For this part, I'm going to use a big brush because, as you can tell, a lot of large surface area for this area. And then once I get some more details, I'll uh, slow it down and So what else is new in the news? Uh, I'm watching sports. Jays have been... Jays played really well for like a month. Not a month. Two weeks, probably. Now they're playing like they're expected to play, which is not well. They're in a young team. They're in the phase of rebuilding. So I'm not going to uh, expect too much. The Yankees and Red Sox are starting to really heat up. Both of them have had their major setbacks. It's tough, though, when you're in a division with two teams that throw $200 million at players total. You know, their payroll is like four times the Jays. And now the Jays have a weird set. I know people might um, correct me on that one. The Jays' salary is officially like half it, but the Jays are paying like more than half of the Jays' salary this year is going to players that aren't even playing for the team. How stupid is that? They're paying other teams to, t they paid other teams money to take the players off their hands and are paying their contracts this year. The majority of their contracts, like 90% of their contracts. So, good job, Jays. Good way to negotiate. You know, that's uh, pretty silly. Pretty silly that the Jays would be paying. So much money for people not to play for the Jays. Meanwhile, the Yankees are paying people a lot of money to play for the Yankees. So, they, they seem to be in a better position. I'm going to hold it. There's really nowhere to hold this model. So that's what I'm saying. I don't like it. I'm trying to paint it. But it's really being awkward. And I'm, you know, I should probably just hold it like there. Awkward holding model. All right, let's switch our brushes. Yeah, that'll be good. So, interesting this all this the, the more I think about this the squads in this box set they're all very interesting like as I said they don't fulfill their current they're, they're it seems like everything's out of place you have heavy weapons on a fast attack you have sniper rifles on a heavy and they're only strength four I just feel like this this one set the um, the librarian's cool and the um, the infiltrators are cool. I just feel that uh, their other choices are a little weird. I'll try it. I'm going to definitely try out the, um, the heavy support snipers. I just don't. I think that sounds weird to me. Heavy support snipers. Usually the heavy support is what's going to take down your opponent's vehicles, not their HQ. That's cool. Snipe's nice. It's a nice feature to have. If you have, if you can spam snipe in your army, 
Uh, if your opponent brings a lot of characters, they're in trouble. Which, the formula for most 40k armies these days is bubble wrap. You know, bring a really strong HQ who has some good, strong you know, aura abilities, and then bubble wrap your entire army around the individual. That's what you typically see with like ad mech lists or ultramarine lists. Actually, most lists in general. To be fair, I'll probably do the same thing if I brought this vanilla marines, the, these you know imperial fists. I'm gonna bring some captains and some uh, captains and some uh, uh, lieutenants. So that way I can increase my shooting power. But uh, yeah, so if your opponent brings that, if you go to a tournament like that kind of stuff, you can kill your opponent's characters, which is great. Once they're exposed, of course. Until they are actually exposed, you can't really do much. Except for destroy them against the vehicle that they're in. And then, shoot them up. <laughs> yeah, these guys are definitely awkward to paint. Anybody out there in internet land, have you painted these guys already? What did you think? Awkward? Did you already just glue them to the bases and paint them on their bases? I could have, you know, put a pin in them and just tried to hide the pin later. Wow, this has been an, it's gonna be an epic week in TV history. Next week. Next week is the, this weekend is the second last episode of Game of Thrones. Um, obviously I'm not gonna spoil anything. And then next week is the last episode of Big Bang Theory, which is obviously very, very past their prime. And the last episode of Game of Thrones, as I said. So it's gonna be some epicness. Now, the that thing both episode both TV shows are going to go down in TV history. Big Bang Theory has been a juggernaut on TV for years. Again, well, 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 past its prime. I love the show before it got too frenzy, too much like Friends. But um, it was good at the beginning. I thought it was good. Right now it's just been predictable and yeah. That's okay. So that show's gonna end. Game of Thrones, people are very polarized on. I agree with the, um, I agree with one of the general consensus is that it feels rushed, but the reason is it feels rushed is they have to tie up this, you know, large storyline in six episodes. So things have to happen fast. Frankly, they should have done, you know, 10 episodes. It would have been awesome. And even if, if some of the episodes were bottle episodes, you know, um, it still work out quite nicely because you can just, for the storyline slowly and surely like it has been for years and that's it like this show has been very slow to progress in so many ways and then all of a sudden it's like okay and now here's the big fight everyone's waiting for and it's over 
Okay, okay. And now here is the next part. We gotta go straight to the next, um, we gotta wrap up the next big storyline, go. So, it has been feeling a little rushed and I agree with that, as I said, but um, I liked it. I've been liking this. The other thing is, of course, it is not based on any source material, right? It's just based on George R. R. Martin's uh, you know, recommended timeline. But I've been liking it. Obviously, Avengers Endgame has been killing the box office. Which is awesome. I liked it. I should be allowed to talk about it, but I'm not going to just, I don't spoil anything for people, but if you haven't seen it yet, come on. You can't really be offended by spoiling, because it's been two weeks, right? Almost three. Yeah, pretty much three weeks. So, I liked it. Good movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's coming along. See all the metallics that need to be done, and I'm going to paint those metallics after. I'm just going to switch to an even smaller brush now, so I can paint in the, the, um, the gaps in the armor. Some of them are quite small. And after, done the, after doing this model, I'm going to then go back to the silvers, not silvers, the uh, browns. And then, uh, you know, clean them up as well. As I said, it's really just raining a lot here in Peterborough. A lot of rain lately. Um, so I haven't done much outside. I did, uh, I took off my winter tire, I got my winter tire, you know, took them off the other day, which was good. Um, that was always good. You'd get winter tires off and the other tires on. I call them summer tires because it feels just like every six months. It's been true. I had, I've had those winter tires on since November. So I pretty much had them on for six months. But where I live, we can get six months of, of colder temperatures. So, you know, in six months from now, we'll be pretty much printing up Christmas stuff. Oh my goodness. Makes me, why am I talking about this? Stop talking about it, Jay. Yeah. Let's see. Apparently there's going to be a big announcement this week with um, Games Workshop. Contrast. Which I'm guessing it's, you know, the, the rumored theory is that it's a set of paints. The other one is obviously Games Workshop will come out with an airbrush. Uh, people have been asking me if, if GW does come out with an airbrush, will I buy it? No. Probably not. I am... I'm, I use Badger, and um, I'm not saying I'm, I'm not uh, up for trying other airbrushes. I just don't um, have a use for it. I have plenty of airbrushes that I need that I use, and they're Badger, and they do their job very well. I'm very happy with my Badger airbrushes. So I don't really feel I need another one. Plus. I, all my hoses are specific for Badger airbrushes too, so I have to buy another hose, and I don't know. 
if they come out with an airbrushes. I don't know if they will. Um, but there's apparently, in the other rumors, uh, contrast paints that are very, I'm guessing they're very similar to the um, Army Painter paints. Let me just put this, make sure this guy's in focus for y'all. Yeah, he is. Um, I know Army Painter came out a, a while ago with auto contrast paints that they just, they take advantage of natural shadowing in the model and appear differently. Like if you were to use a yellow, it would come out as bright yellow on like the, the very peaks where the light hits the model, darker yellow in the recesses, which is cool. Um, it's a great way of painting fast if you want to, right? If they're, um, I don't think, we'll see if that is the idea. That's my guess of what will actually be the announcement, just a new paint line. Which is cool. I like the GW paints, I use them all, I know I pretty much use the GW paints all the time, which is cool. Um, but uh, I'll try them out, I'll give them a review. You know? You can see how much silver goes into one model. Well, they are holding a lot of guns, and I said these models look really cool. They're probably my favorite looking model of the new box set. Just the most annoying to paint because they're hard to hold. Oh, huh, cool. But I'll definitely do an army showcase. I gotta do an army showcase of my orcs. Yeah, I should definitely do one of those too. Oh, so many videos to film. So he's basically done for the silvers, at least for now. And then I will uh, paint, repaint the leathers. Get them all done. It's been a very wet spring so far, so there's been a lot of uh, flooding. A little bit of Peterborough's flooded, not too much. Places like Ottawa and, Munch and uh, Quebec have had some bad flooding. Hopefully my good friend Patrick is okay. I know he's in flooding territory. I should reach out to him. Alright, back to the Browns. So I will go... Get more, um, just a little, another second coat of the Mornfang Brown. And get that all done. And then keep going with the silvers for the rest of the episode. What are we, 33 minutes in? Not bad. Not bad at all. It's Mother's Day this weekend, so definitely call your moms. Or at least it is in North America. I don't know about around the world. I think it is. In many countries. Oh, okay. Mother's Day. I'm not going to see my mother because I have to work this weekend. And she lives about four hours away. But I got her a little something. Yeah. Can't believe it. it. The thing is, with 
the weather outside right now, it hasn't ever, it hasn't felt like a nice spring yet. It hasn't, there have only been a couple really, really nice spring days. It's still cold and rainy. I guess today it's going to warm up and it's going to be nice. Uh, just, we need a, some spring days and then that way it'll be a nice transition before summer because summer's going to be here in what, a month and a half now. We're halfway through spring officially. And it's going to start to get, you know, plus 30 for the Americans, 90. All right, and uh, there we go. But I kind of, I like a transition between these um, because it's nice to have that nice transition so that way it's not just all of a sudden from way, you know, from mild to way too hot. I don't mind the hot though. You know. I just want a nice spring. We've been getting some yard work done in our free time. Just doing some yard work. There's still leaves to pick up. Busy. Life's busy. You know? And I know that some of you out there in internet land are feeling the same thing. It's hard to find time to paint sometimes, which is why I love these painting with Jays. I intentionally sit down, dedicate some time, talk to y'all, and paint for an hour. And then by the end of the hour, I have left a lot less to paint than I did before. It's always good. Um, guys are done. That one's done too. But, um, yeah. As I said, it's, it's, it's good. And the fact that I can have these... I'll have these Space Marines done. Well, these guys will be done by next week. And then it's a, it's a whole Shadow Spear box set. Um, and then start the other box set, which is another 20 Marines. So, that's cool. rest after. <laughs> Let's keep going with the silvers then. Back to the silvers. Whole lot of silver. That's okay. I'll, I'll get them all done. As much of the silver as I can today. Get back on it next week, you know? Cool. Well, I want to paint more. Maybe I'll have, I have a little time this weekend. I hope I have an, a bit of time. Well, no, I'll be working, so maybe at night. We'll see. As I said, it's very nice to have these guys done. I would like to, you know, film some battle reports using Primaris Marines. I just want to have them painted. Painted Marines look better in battle reports, of course. Hmm. Will I ever run out of models to paint? Doubt it, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe one day. That'd be a good problem to have, and I can just pull out old models to paint, or paint for other people, or just buy a model and paint it on the spot, you know, that day. Go buy a model from the game store, bring it home, paint it with Jay. That'd be a good life. A goal to work towards, frankly. Not this year. For sure not this year. Maybe next year. I think I definitely have enough models to keep me busy for the rest of this year, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
definitely for this year. Next year, we'll see. But keep going. As I said, the, the rate I'm going. My biggest armies were Tyranids and Orcs. And they're done. For a number of models to paint. I have a couple quasi-horde armies left to go as well. but not, Nowhere near the model count of those two, I don't think. Yeah. Space Marines. Listen, if I can get my Space Marines done by even July, I'd be halfway through the year. Done Orcs, done Space Marines, and then go to whichever next army I want. Paint that. Get that all done. Go to the next army and continue forth. As I would love for the one day where I'm like, oh my goodness, I better save this model for painting with Jay because I'm running out of models to paint. It's a pipe dream, probably. I know you are probably laughing at me in internet land when I say that kind of stuff. Which is okay. You keep me accountable. Keep me grounded in my ambitions. I said, not really. It's a lot. Not a lot's going on right now. It's been a pretty uneventful last couple weeks. Um, yeah, I thought I had more to talk about. If anything, but uh, you know, not much to talk about. Not much to talk about. You know, I'm gonna see at least one Jays game this year. I got tickets for later in the year. Uh, they're up against Seattle. Which will be a good game. Um, by that point, I don't know how many of the players that I see today will be on the team. All the young guys would be, but all the older guys probably not. Old meaning like 27. We'll have to see. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious how many people are going to get traded for this year. We're in sports time. Uh, what are the summer shows? America's Got a Talent will start soon. I watched the, I used to watch that a lot. I know they just changed all their like half their judges. I don't know if Mel B and Heidi quit or got fired or whatever. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I really do like American Ninja Warrior. Also, it always makes me want to get in like crazy shape. I never do, but it still always makes me want to. Um, yeah, and then there's sports. Summer is not really the time for TV shows. No. No, and. Uh, as I said, I'm really I'm going to watch uh, the Game of Thrones finale next week, the Big Bang Theory finale next week. And go from there. You're going to be set. It's going to be weird. Uh, I'm not the biggest Big Bang Theory fan anymore, but I'd still like to see how it ends. I don't think there's going to be anything big that isn't predictable. We'll see. We'll see. It's like 13, 12, or 12 seasons in. Time to end the show. 
you know, time to end the show. Time to say goodbye. Am I going to Gen Con this year? I don't think so. People have asked me that lately. I don't think I am. I'll see. I'm trying to figure out my vacation days. Um, my girlfriend and I may go on a trip to um, Nova Scotia in the fall. We'll see. But in... Uh... Oh, God, I'm hungry. Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we're thinking about going to Nova Scotia because Nova Scotia is not too far, but flight, it's pretty. It's a pretty cheap vacation. You know, the flights are only like 250 bucks to go to Nova Scotia. Heck, we could drive there or just take a couple days, and we don't want to waste that many days of our vacation time, right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, let's paint some gaps in armor. Oh, actually, I can paint the bottom part too. As I said, these are really awkward to hold. Oh well. They'll be done soon. This is actually the longest step, usually, in my process of painting Space Marines. That if they have a lot of metallics on them, just paint the silvers. And then um, after that, it's pretty much shade, highlight, go. And then it's done. Not a lot after the step, but. Uh, and then the glazing, I double glaze the, the bone tones to make them yellow. And uh, yeah. I haven't played a game yet since the big FAQ. Um, it's not really gonna f the big FAQ. It doesn't. It's not gonna really game change me, the way I play. Uh, my lists, other than that one orc tactica, that my one orc tactic of mobbing up boy um, Lutas, that's gone. But um, yeah, this it didn't affect me too much. Also, I don't play in tournaments frequently. I should do a tournament every couple of months or something. That'd be a good idea this year. But um, I don't play in tournaments, so I don't really face the Castellan list very often. That's really the only place where you'd see a Castellan list is a tournament. From my understanding, they're still there. And as I predicted, it didn't do enough to sway the imperial soup lists i think it just became a little bit larger of a auto taking tax but uh eh. This guy's looking pretty good too. They're gonna turn out nicely, I think. You know, I said they look really cool. I just have to paint them. And will I buy another Shadow Spear box set? Probably not for now. Um, let's see. All the box sets have good value. They really do. Shadow Spear has some good, like, if I want to run even more, you know, I guess it would make sense to get more uh, Vanilla Marine, you know, more, I'd buy another set. And then you'd have 20 Infiltrators, you know. 
Eventually they will sell these guys on their own, probably, you know, after a long time. That's what they normally do. They uh, sell the models and there's always an exclusive, you know, model to this box set. And then six months later, the exclusive model is no longer exclusive. That's okay. Like, um, the Abominant and the Aberrant for the um, Tooth and Claw set. You know, um, the Mini Knights. That box set, and the uh, the Cryptek with the cloak. Again, they always come out eventually. Cool. So I'm just ran out of uh, silver, and we've been painting for 50 minutes. I think it's a good time to end it. He's working. He's on his way. Look at these guys. They're on their way, which is all good. I'm gonna. I'm kind of hungry right now. I'm gonna go get some breakfast, and go from there. So yes, as you can see, I got the the browns done on them for the. Uh, leathers and most of the silver well the silver done on most of them as i said there's a little bit more on that guy and then the other guy so uh, probably another you know half an hour of just painting silvers but that's okay let's end now all right so that concludes another episode of painting with jay i really hope you got some stuff done you painted for an hour and your world is slowly being ridden of unpainted models i really think mine is and that it makes me really happy is, is seeing the end result of all this these countless hours of painting and knowing that uh, there's a finite number of models left <laughs> um, as uh, maybe over the next few months probably by the end of june or july i will have my space marines done and then i'll turn to my next army which i haven't decided yet whatever i'm feeling in a couple months get that done and keep going um, there there can't be that many models left <laughs> I tell myself naively. Um, I really hope you got some stuff done. And as always, this video is brought to you by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to help support my videos. Um, thank you. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. As you can see, their names go by my head. Uh, it's because of them that I can set aside some time to work on these videos. Stay tuned for more videos. And like some of Jay saying happy painting with me.